Ever wonder what makes a golf ball hook or slice? Let's make sense of it with science. No one knows better than a golf pro how difficult it is to consistently hit long straight drives. That's because squarely hitting a golf ball involves more than just athletics. Physics also plays into it. Let's sneak into this Masters tournament and get a grip on what goes into a hook or a slice. Now as we tee off, our goal is to hit the ball so that the flat part of the club or club face is perfectly perpendicular to the path the club itself is traveling. Oh no, our ball just took a major curve to the right, which is called a slice. If it flew left, it would be called a hook. So what went wrong? Let's rewind that whole sequence. Okay, here comes our swing. As the club travels downward toward the ball, it's moving in a straight path. But just prior to when the club face makes contact with the ball, instead of approaching the ball straight on, the club face was tilted ever so slightly to the right. Even a tilt of just one degree is enough to make the ball slide across the club face, resulting in a wicked side spin. In the air, that spin makes the ball slice right. Now let's tee off one more time. Four. This time, the club face tilted slightly to the left, causing the ball to hook left. No wonder hitting balls out of the rough is par for the course for most golfers. Well, thanks for swinging by for a golf lesson. And now you know, it all makes sense with science. This has been presented by Bayer Corporation's National Education Program, making science make sense.